you don't usually put an eight-year-old in an airplane and just let them go for it. <laughs> Flying together as a family actually means a lot to us because it does mean spending time together. It's just really brought some of those unique experiences to our family. Just the pure joy and excitement that they have of being able to go places and see the scenery and just experience that. It's just so much fun to watch. Parenting at 10,000 feet has, you know, its own unique challenges. We've had to, you know, figure out which ones of our kids are airsick, which ones aren't. We even found out one of our kids is afraid of heights. He didn't tell us until we were in the air. Dad, can we go back? I've already started teaching the kids to fly. My eight-year-old took the plane off last couple of flights I've been on with her, so. <laughs> she does not neglect any opportunity to tell people that she's taken an airplane off. I really started focusing on Flight Simulator probably five or six years ago. Carl really introduced it to the family. And was playing that and very quickly accumulated about 200 hours inside of the, the game. I probably shouldn't say that out loud. <laughs> So I currently hold a private pilot certificate, and I'm actually in the middle of working on my instrument rating. I think one of the things that I've taught my kids through Flight Simulator is how to land an airplane. And so utilizing that as a tool that, hey, you don't just barrel towards the runway, actually teach them some procedures that they could use later on in life. One of the nice things about Microsoft Flight Simulator, too, is it's just nice to be able to let the kids enjoy that and experience it whenever they want the opportunity to be able to explore the plane, learn what the gauges do, and how to do different things inside of it is absolutely invaluable. I'm Tiffany Hancock. And I'm Carl Hancock. And, and we, we fly, fly to, to bring, bring our, our family, family together. together.